the Duchess of Edinburgh has surprised her husband with a tearful tribute ahead of his 60th birthday, saying he is the best of fathers, the most loving of husbands, and he is still my best friend, and I am so proud of the man he is. Have you won all your matches or most of them? Most of them, enough of them, yeah? So you do? Yeah? And you, you normally train at school? Yeah? So what's it like being here on the, on the ground? Here? Is it? Yeah? So it's a bit different. This, so and, and with the stands around it, it's it's a. It's, can you imagine what it'd be like if this was full of people shouting? I'm just and then turn them round for me. Yeah, mine's, oh, why? Mine, my, I'm, <laughs> I'm much younger. <laughs> even <laughs> even I know there aren't that many people in a <laughs> <laughs> on the field. <laughs> they can take to make sure that they are creating a culture and opportunities. But I just wanted to congratulate all, all, all the winners, everybody, um, in, in all that, that you've done and all our finalists. Um, it's, it's just, every year we come and do this, I think we can't possibly find any more inspirational groups out there. And then I get proved wrong every single time. Um, it's been fascinating listening to your stories. It's amazing what you're doing out in those communities. And I want you all to feel very, very proud of what you've done. London <laughs> Sophie took to the stage at the end of the Community Sport and Recreation Awards in Leeds to make a speech praising her husband ahead of his landmark birthday tomorrow. Day this Sunday. It's alright darling, you're going to hear 60 a few more times I'm afraid. <laughs> like my father-in-law, my husband never seeks compliments for himself. So when acknowledgement has come his way, it has always been a total surprise to him, which is why I am grateful for this chance to, for once, be able to publicly celebrate and compliment him. He was so happy and humbled when Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth made him a Knight of the Garter in 2006, and was equally delighted and moved the day His Majesty the King, who we are both incredibly proud to support, made him Duke of Edinburgh. Both he deserves in equal measure, and I am so proud of the man he is. He is the best of fathers, the most loving of husbands, and is still my best friend. <laughs>